Assembly's lawyer, Susan Moss, Ray Judice, Courtney Anderson. Susan Moss, I'm stunned. Already the woman never went to jail and now not even house arrest. What is Judge Paget thinking? She violated probation. Her punishment, more probation. Who created this law, Paris Hilton? It is absolutely ridiculous. She has never fully been punished for what she did. She is not allowed to have sexual relations with a young child who is a boy, girl, whoever. She needed to be punished. She wasn't. We've let down the kids. To Ray Judice and Courtney Anderson, veteran defense attorneys, to Ray, have you ever managed to work a deal on a repeat child molester where you got nothing but house arrest? You know, Nancy, the only time you really see those deals are when you've got a situation where the, the prosecuting attorney is so concerned about well, the long term. I asked you, did you ever get well, such a deal? Well, I'm not going to talk about any of my clients. I'm going to okay, tell you how it happened. Okay, never mind. Thanks. Okay, Courtney, fine. have you ever seen a case like that before where on repeat child molestation, the perpetrator gets straight house arrest? Look, they're, ex they're extremely unusual. The question I think to ask is, why did the prosecution think they didn't have enough of a case to win a conviction at trial? Well, I'll tell you, why Courtney, that was that not plea? the issue. To my understanding, and Susan Moss, tell me if you understand something differently, the prosecution said the media attention was so severe that the boy's mother did not want him to have to testify. That's exactly right. What happened was the boy got cold feet about testifying and his parents didn't want to put him through the media circus um, that sure wa surely was to happen. And uh, apparently the prosecution got us uh, afraid and they gave her us one sweetheart deal that just gets better and better. Out to the lines, Claire in Connecticut. Hi, Claire. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Oh, well, it kind of just came up. I'm really upset about the victim's family being upset about this sweetheart deal. If they had stepped up in the first place, none of this would be happening. You know what, Claire? You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Eben Brown, you covered the case way back at the beginning. Why didn't the prosecution go forward with the trial? Well, th the reason was was that they had no complaining witness to put on the stand. The boy's mother would not let him testify. He was a minor still at the time, and this boy uh, was not going to be allowed to go in front of the jury, go in front of the judge, and, and tell his story. The mother wanted him to move on with his life. A couple years had passed. The boy was getting ready uh, to apply to colleges. She wanted him to move on with uh, what would be the rest of his life and have somewhat of a normal existence. Without that testimony from the complaining witness, prosecutors felt they had such a weak case that if they had gone to trial, there's a very good a chance they would have lost. If they had lost the case, there would have been no community control. There would have been no probation. There would have been no sex offender registry. She is a registered sex offender through all of this. She has a curfew. She has uh, to uh, uh, agree to random searches of her home and other restrictions you know, Eben, of where she can live. Eben, and that's please, it. Please, please, just stop. Uh, having dealt with more child molestation victims than I can even count, when you just said she has a curfew, it actually made my skin crawl. So uh, let's just let that go. She actually has a curfew. That's her punishment. She's got a curfew. To Owen Lefebvre, Lefebvre's ex-husband and now author, do you think she's changed at all? Nancy, unfortunately not. Obviously, I haven't spoken to her in a few years now. But recently, she was arrested uh, for having an inappropriate friendship with uh, a, a child that was was a minor at the time and obviously if, if nothing else uh, she just continues to have poor judgment everybody tonight uh, new photos of the twins and a major milestone for little Lucy remember she only weighed two pounds when she was born she finally took I just took that she finally takes her first entire eight ounce bottle of milk there she is a little milk drunk, while her twin brother, John David, angry over the spoiler, vows that tomorrow he will take two bottles. I'm going to post these on the website tonight. I, I hope you like them. And tonight, thank you, everyone, for your thoughts and prayers for veteran trial lawyer out of New York, defense attorney Sandy Schiff. She is making progress, but she is in the fight of a lifetime. Sandy, stay strong.